TOEFL Strategies, Track 42, Speaking Task 6. In this question, you will listen to part of a lecture. You will then be asked to summarize important information from the lecture. After you hear the question, you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Listen to part of a talk in a United States history class. Mass production, the production of standardized goods for a mass market, was first introduced in the early 20th century. Henry Ford was the first industrialist to really make full use of this system in a major way. As a result, the system became known as Fordism. So we can say that Fordism is the mass production of standardized goods using dedicated machines and moving assembly lines and employing unskilled and semi-skilled labor in fragmented jobs with tight labor discipline in a large factory setting. What does all this mean in practical terms? Henry Ford is, of course, known as a car manufacturer, as the maker of the Model T. But in a more general sense, his greatest innovation, his greatest contribution to manufacturing, was this concept of Fordism, this idea that the most efficient way to make something is to break down the process into hundreds of small tasks. So picture a factory and picture a production line, and there are perhaps 50 people along the production line, there's a conveyor belt constantly moving the parts along from one person to the next. Each person is assigned a certain very specific job, and that specific job is all that person does all day for his or her whole shift. So, it is Henry Ford whom we can thank for introducing the concept of what is now commonly known as a complex division of labor. It was Ford who first realized that this process would make it possible for him to lower his costs and increase his profits. And indeed, when the Model T was first built, it took 14 hours to assemble one car. Ford was eventually able to reduce the assembly time to 93 minutes. During this same period, between 1908 and 1913, the price of the Model T fell from $1,000 to $360. Very soon, this process was adopted by other industries. Explain the link between the introduction of machinery and the concept of mass production. Use details and examples from the lecture to support your explanation.